Welcome to City Rush. All right, as it showed, we had daily drivers. I think that was the category that said in the festival playlist. I'll have to check that out later. Here is what I have. This is organized by performance index. Not a lot going on. I tell you what, I think this one's pretty good. I'm gonna, th ooh, the X6M. Oh, okay, so what's this? Five, 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 seven, five, nine, five, one. Let's try this V60 Polestar from 2015. I'm going to give it a shot. I like the car. I think V60s are cool. We were just using this the other day for a trailblazer. And let's see who else is running with us. We have, ooh, we have a Type R. We have an old Toyota Celica. We have another V60. I love to see that when somebody else picks the same car as you. Confirmation bias. You got to love it. All right. Cathedral circuit. This is a circuit. We're on rally tires, all wheel drive. I think we can make it work. As you've seen in my last couple trial videos, I'm just trying to contribute to the team. Me and the guy that has the V60, we both have the same icon too. That is weird. That is really weird. But yeah, I just want to contribute. I want to give him points and I want to get that first reward car. So let's see if we can get this done. Let's see how hard this trial is this week. So nice start. We passed the Type R. Well, I don't know what he was doing. <laughs> The Dravatars are up here just zigzagging, wigwagging around. There goes the Celica. I forgot, I still have that silent, pretty much silent car horn, so we can't, can't show off for our friends. Kind of threw me for a loop because I heard my old horn out there, but no. It's not, it's not mine anymore. I gotta get it back. That was a good horn. Oop! Sorry, drive guitar into the wall. Are we really doing this good? This is weird. Three laps here, though. You gotta survive. It's, it's, it's a long race. I hate racing Ooh. through these tunnels. You're gonna get stuck on an abutment or some kind of jutting concrete brick thing. You know, you can get messed up into those signs, those directional signs. I think this thing's doing quite well. This is nuts. All right. Our new task is to try to pass William and or Pablo. In this large estate. Bam. Well, we did that. Can we stay up here? That's going to be questionable. Where'd the racing line go? I know, it's a crutch. I really shouldn't have it, but I like it. It helps me. I'm going like 80, 90, and 5th. That is a low gear transmission. I like it. Get you that acceleration. Speaking of acceleration, I took my... Civic Hatch Project Car, the K-Swap. I took it to the body shop again today and they kept it. So I don't know how long they're gonna keep it, but the plan of attack is this. The next time I see it, once it's done there, hopefully I have the uh, unibody, like right where the headlights are. Hopefully that stuff's all pulled out and maybe we get some new sheet metal and he's got it sprayed up a little bit for me. We're looking good, that'd be awesome. I bought some new headlights. I took them over as well. So we should be sitting pretty, but then I'm going to drive it. Oh, no, no, no. That's that's a teammate. We got to go. I can't race and talk. But come on, man. Dang. Anyway, I got to disassemble it after I drive it for a little bit. Going to drive it in the fall if I get it back in time. No salt. No winter driving for sure. But for the winter, I'm going to take it apart. Send the transmission down to Florida. There's a guy on Instagram. He does them all day. Rebuilding and whatever. There's a little slight, just the slightest little hitch in fourth gear when you engage. So I'm going to get that taken care of. Maybe you can look at the rest of it and make sure it's awesome. And then we'll put the engine back in. Maybe I'll tuck the harness. I got to put the digital dash in. I want to get a new steering wheel. And then I'm just going to kind of start to go over the entire suspension. Going to get coilovers, going to replace the bushings things like that it's gonna be a good time finished first look at that what a good pick for the v60 you guys since you are 
viewers on the channel, hopefully subscribers, I'm going to give you the tune for this V60. If it is one of my own, if it's not, I'll try and figure out which one it is and send it your way. But wow, I thought those guys were pretty competitive. We also beat all of the Dravatars. Maybe it's an easy trial, but that was cool. There we are. Nelson Tank, look at us. Such a happy family. All right, so hopefully we only have one more race to do. I'm probably benefiting from it being a circuit because I have good tires and a, you know, good acceleration. Panoramica sprint, okay. So we benefited from the circuit. Let's see if we can translate to a sprint win. We lost one of our teammates. That's that's cool. Look at that. It's pretty much the same same locale. We're going to go out of Guanajuato, go around, and then come back in. Let's go. That Volkswagen looks pretty cool. I got to get around him now. He's slow. There's an X6, probably M. I could have been driving that. I think this is a way better pick. Whoa, Antonia. What was that about? So everybody's off to a great start this time. Whoa, what happened to the Drivatar? Looks like somebody yanked them back with a cable. That was wild. Oh my gosh. Yeah, funny enough, I went to the uh, body shop. They had talked about it last time, but there is a another hatch in there. Same body style, 92 to 95. Up on the lift, he said he had to like cut and hammer out and sleeve the frame rail. So mine's way better than that. I don't have to do that at all. I just have a, you know couple crumple zones that need need fixed on the frame machine and make it perfect but yeah I'm so happy it's it's getting done now I can just go to work keep grinding and grinding on that wall what the heck why am I so far back anyway yeah I'm, I'm just glad I can put it off on somebody else it's not like I'm gonna buy a frame machine you know like here you do it sometimes folks you got to take it to the experts if you really can't do it yourself i did swap the engine to myself so that was cool save myself some money there learn some things along the way always wanted to do it and we succeeded she's dyno tuned that's on the channel if you guys haven't seen that yet check it out the dyno video is pretty cool i've got some short clips clips edited in with me jibber jabbering some photos it was cool. It was a good time. Good time had by all. 70%. I'm in 6th. Wow. Yeah, the circuit was way better for me. That turn was terrible. We're going to win, so that's good. I don't know how I'm losing. I did really good last race. I don't know. A lot of tight turns. I think that's, that's tough here with this car. I should have laid up a little bit and tried to do better. It's so heavy, it's so big. You're racing stuff like MR2s. Civic Type R's. If I had it to do over again, I, I might do better, but hey, whatever. We won. 1850 to 1200. And there we are. Eh, you win some, you sixth some. That's how the old adage is, right? There we go. I'm happy. What a great thing it is when you win two trial races in a row as a team, and then you're right into the reward car. There we go. Good for you. Awesome. Yep. All right. So we're going to get a notification that we've completed the trial, but then also a notification that we won this week's reward car. There it is. The Toyota Camry TRD from 2023. And we're going to go all the way over to cars and we're just going to, so let's switch to it here over to Toyota. There it is. So B643 front engine, front wheel drive. Let's back it up a little bit. You see the TRD there. Is this a V6? That's what I want to know. So first off, 300 horsepower. Up, yeah, it's definitely probably a V6. Sounds like one up to only about, wow, 6,800 RPM, somewhere in there. Um, it's pretty quick out of the gate, you know, right, right off the uh, showroom floor. And once you get it rolling, it's really not that fast. All right, let's take a photo of it real quick. 
Get that promo. Okay, so we got that. Look at it. I think the thing looks pretty good. I like the wheels. I don't really like the spoiler. I'm hoping I can take that off. Now let's go modify it. I'm gonna take this right into what I wish it was from the factory. So let's go to the body mods. Okay, no, we need to go to conversions, I'm sorry. So for conversions, we're gonna go to the battle arrow wide body. Um, apparently this is cooler than I know it to be, but it also spaces the wheels out, things like that. That's cool, let's get that now. Moving back to the body. Okay, so you can change the wing. Oh yeah, whoa. Is that like, is that fully molded in? Like, is that a new trunk? Like, what is that? Yes, that is awesome. Okay, so I'm way more of a fan now of this, this setup. So race, drift, we get just a little bit more of it tucked, but you know, the camber doesn't really look, look the best. I don't like that. I don't like that camber up front. Yeah, we'll just go with race. That's fine. Let's not do the crazy weight savings. Let's just take, you know, the normal weight out. A cage is only 157, but we I don't we don't need it. That's that's crazy. Let's see what brakes look good. We've got the slotted and cross drilled. Let's do that. Let's make it look cool. I've seen a lot of people doing that online. They they just make it look the best. Not really trying to make it fast because you can just make anything fast. I get that. Let's do let's do all wheel drive. Let's do a turbo. Oh, it's going to be twin turboed. Let's twin turbo it. We're not going to engine swap it. I kind of want to keep it, you know, what it is. So let's also give it rally tires to lower it down even more. For whatever reason, rally tires do that. There we go. This is my opinion. I think we should make these. Let's do it. Let's make them 20s, whatever. I want it to look bigger, but let's do 265s all around. That's pretty cool. I like where we're at right now. Now let's go do the normal sport compact stuff. Intake. Intake, exhaust, fuel, spark. We're not gonna do cams. We're not gonna open up all this stuff. Let's do one size up on the turbo. Big intercooler. The lightweight flywheel, not the extreme lightweight one. Uh, we're going to leave it six speed, race diff. Did we get clutch? There's no clutch to get. Interesting. All right. Cool. 83,000. I don't think it would be that much in real life, but maybe for the all wheel drive stuff included. Now let's go to designs and paints. See if anybody has any cool designs. I know Duff had one. Uh, nothing really cool. I'm going to look at stock. TRD Camry colors here. Oh, so we just have black and white. And actually, I like this one with the with the black accents. I think that's cool. Will it take everything off? No. Whoa, this is wild. Okay, so you're not losing any of the other color accents, that kind of stuff. You can make these wheels whatever you want. Doesn't that look so much better if you make them black to match the accents? Ooh, that's tough. Get a little bit of tint here. We're just going a little bit. There we go. Actually, one less, one less. There we go. We already got the the calipers painted from the factory. Gonna gear it to like 180, somewhere in that range. I don't like these gears. Do that. Do that. That looks good. Let's try that. All right, so here we go. Oh, it sounds good. Wow, it's so much faster. What are we looking at? Horsepower. Oh, it's way up there. 500? 538. All wheel drive. That's all she wrote. 180 miles an hour, sixth gear. We could add a seventh gear, but I think that's a little much. Are we going to hit the house? No. Nice.
Getting a little force feedback from the wheel there because we're absolutely flying. And we just go out through, yep, deer, whatever. <laughs> so probably going a little bit too fast there for what we have, but this is fun. I don't know about you guys, but overall, I am pretty happy with this brand new to the game 2023 Toyota Camry TRD Splashdown. 710.99. That's pretty respectable. <laughs> but there she is. You guys can uh, take it for a drive. Tell me what you think. Make it your own. I think this is pretty cool. I'm going to keep it that way for now. But we got the first reward car. That's awesome. Of course, yesterday we did the weekly, the daily, the photo, the collectibles, and today we did the trial. So pretty easy. Good luck to you all out there. Uh, in the second race, I didn't really have too good of a showing, but if you want that tune, I will try and find that for you, the Volvo V60, and uh, help you guys out. That being said, that's going to be it for me today. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you tune in tomorrow to catch the PR Stunt Speed Run. I'll see you there in the next one. Later.